You're looking here at the very first picture from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. An image that shows hundreds of ancient stars and galaxies captured in the most detailed view yet of the universe. Astronomers say this is also a look back in time, far back in time, more than 13 billion years, close to the start of the universe itself. Our senior science reporter, Nicole Martellaro, is looking at all of this. Nicole, let's come back to that picture. My jaw is still on the ground. What are we exactly seeing in this very first photo? Describe it and help us understand it. Well, your jaw and my jaw both. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, you know, this is the uh, galaxy cluster called SMAX 0723. And this is a collection of galaxies in deep space. And it is now. To really wrap your mind around this, that image that we're seeing, that is mostly galaxies, okay? There are only a handful of stars basically in that image. And that is looking, if you took a grain of rice and held it at arm's length, that's the part of the sky. So try to wrap your mind around that. I mean, what else is out there? This is an incredible image. It is the deepest we've ever seen. And this is, what's really interesting about it for astronomers is look, if you can see those lines of uh, around some of these in that image, that is actually called gravitational lensing. And the mass of these gal this galaxy cluster is actually bending the light from galaxies behind it. And that is, something that astronomers were really hoping to do because that allows them to see galaxies much, much further away, which means, as you said, we're looking back in time, which means we're looking back at a time when the universe was in its infancy. So this is just an incredible image and, yeah, jaw dropped. <laughs> and it's just the beginning. Four more coming out starting later on this morning around 10.30 a.m. What do we uh, expect to see then? Well, we have four more targets. So one of them is called Stefan's Quintet, and it's a collection of five galaxies. Four are actually together, very, they move together. Together. Um, they're linked together. And then there's another one called the Southern Ring Nebula. And this is a planetary nebula. Uh, a star died and, you know, uh, shed its sh uh, shell, its gases. And it's another beautiful target. And then now I'll get into two of my favorites. There's also WASP uh, 96b. And that is an exoplanet, a planet orbiting a distant star. And it will be, see they will release a spectrograph of this planet, which means we're going to look at the atmosphere of this distant world. It's a gas giant, uh, half the mass of Jupiter. And now my favorite, which is the Carina Nebula. NASA's Hubble telescope has taken an incredible image of the Carina Nebula. I have it hanging on my wall at home. And I can't wait to see this. What I mean, if Hubble can produce this picture, what Webb is going to show us is going to just be mind boggling. Look at who has a favorite uh, Hubble picture at home. <laughs> I can see why you're all excited about all of this. You know, there are so many people. This is a NASA. This is a, a European Space Agency project, but it's also very strongly linked to the Canadian Space Agency. And we can't emphasize that enough. What is Canada's involvement and what do Canadian researchers benefit uh, from as a result in all of this? Yes, actually, um, one of the biggest and most important parts of um, of Webb, I almost said Hubble, Hubble <laughs> you've got to get used to saying this, um, is the fine guidance sensor. And that is provided by uh, Canadians. And this keeps the telescope on target and it allows it to track also moving objects. And then there's also, and I'm going to get this right, the near infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. And that is uh, able, this camera is able to image the atmospheres around distant uh, exoplanets. So these are really crucial components and Canadians have a lot to be proud of. And because of our role, we actually, our astronomers, get a lot of time to research uh, exoplanets, galaxies. So um, this is, a, it's going to be a really big deal and we're going to see data coming out of this for decades to come. Nicole, thank you so much.